Don't stop. A family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Now, I said it would take to get to the second year before the offense was clicking. I mean, you guys feel like you are still ready to improve or where you guys are at right now with the way the last two weeks have gone? Um, I still feel like there's room for, uh, for improvement. I think that we're clicking, but we're still not to the point where we're going to be automatic every single drive. Um, we're still leaving players on the field, but um, I'm happy where, we're, where we are right now. But there's definitely room to improve. Of course, talk about the week, the, uh, the jump from week one to week two. What kind of things, you know, offensively, did you guys tweak to uh, um, we really didn't tweak anything. We're just executing the way we were supposed to be executing. So um, I think it'll just get better week by week. But right now we're just, uh, I think we're starting to click and um, things could get pretty scary if we're clicking on all cylinders uh, the whole game. Yeah. How do you not have a letdown going into this week? Um, I mean, just we just have to practice the way we need to practice. We need to be consistent throughout um, the game. We need to start faster. Um, I mean, if we start fast, then the offense and the defense will just play so much better. Is, is, that, kind of, is that kind of worrisome, you know, the, the first half, the way you guys ended that? But um, obviously took some chances and, and weren't able to capitalize on, obviously, the big fourth quarter and second half out. But is it worrisome that you weren't able to finish some drives early in the uh, um, not really. I mean, I know that we have the capability to score touchdowns on every single drive. We just have to be out. We just have to execute our uh, fundamentals and techniques, which we weren't really doing the first half. And I mean, you see what we did the second half when all things were clicking and we were doing what we were supposed to do. What's the difference with this team with Matt Johnson at quarterback? And has he even surprised you guys a little bit with how quickly um, he's gotten everything going? Uh, I mean, I don't think he surprised anybody. Uh, I think we all know. That he's this type of quarterback. He's just so versatile. He's uh, really a student of the game. He puts so much, uh, so many hours in the watching film with the coaches, and I just think that he prepares better than anybody else on the team. So I don't think anybody's surprised at how or what he's been doing, and I think he's just going to keep uh, getting better. Gary, going back to Thomas's question about a letdown, do you personally have a concern about a letdown this week after a big win? Uh, for myself. Well, for the team. Oh, okay. it down. Uh, no, not at all. Um, I just think that we just need to continue to get better, and um, I still think that there's things that we can do better at offensively and defensively, and I just think that um, those things will happen with time. And, um, I mean, we just have to go out there and play the way we're supposed to play. Are, are you guys doing anything to guard against a letdown after, you know, big win, Big yeah. Ten school? Uh, I mean, not really. We just just going to go out there like it's a new week and forget about last week and forget about the week before and just continue to move forward. So uh, we're just looking for a tough, I mean, Memphis is a great team, so we're going to have a tough game with them. When you talk a little, I assume you've seen some film on Memphis. Mm -hmm. Have you looked at them at all or uh, you know much Not about really. Them? I was going to start that today and tomorrow, so not too much about them. Knowing that you're finally home, is there uh, definitely. We want to play in front of the home crowd for once. Uh, those first two, I mean, playing on the road the first two games is always tough because you don't have the fans to support you just because of how far the games have been played away from here. But um, we're excited to get the, get the Doit rocking this weekend and uh, have a lot of fun at home. In the first game against Tennessee, you were obviously the featured target and had the big game against Maryland. Obviously, Roger yeah. was the big target. Will you talk? Is that how is that kind of <clears throat> determined who the target is? Uh, it's really not determined. We just have to see how the defense is going to be, uh, be playing. Uh, like you said, I had a big game the first week. Roger didn't have that big of a game. And the second week, I didn't have a big game, and Roger had a huge game. So, I mean, it's just going to see week to week. Uh, Maddie's good quarterback, so he's not going to force the ball to anybody. So, I mean, if the person's open, he'll get it to us. So, um, I think it'll just depend on what week it is and what the defense is doing. So, when you say it's not determined, do you mean up until you walk up to the line of scrimmage and say, 
here's what they're doing, here's what we've got. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, Maddie, Maddie's really great at reading defenses. He knows where the ball is going to be uh, thrown just based off what they're doing. So um, as receivers, we all have to run our routes 100% every single time because we don't know where the ball is going to go with Maddie at quarterback. I would think it also has to be an advantage that you have such a skilled number of guys as receivers. You, you can't just pick on Garrett Dieter because there's Roger Lewis and Ryan Burbrink and so forth. Yeah, that's the great thing about our offense. We have five or six guys that can really play, so you can't really just pick on one of us to take out the game because two or three more uh, of the guys will have a great game.